Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. And I hope you all are having a Merry Christmas. But at any rate, let's get on with the show, shall we? At any rate, uh, we find ourselves in Arizona, of all places, where dumbass Elmo once again tries to, well, throw his weight around inside of a courthouse and, well, discovers once again that he doesn't exactly have a fully functional brain. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Why not? Do you have any paperwork on that? Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it a judge's order? Yes, dumbass Elmo. It is a judge's order. In fact, here's part of the order right here. And you can easily look it up on the Arizona Supreme Court website. So why don't you try to do some actual research, which I know you don't ever do any research because I look up so much of what you say and, uh, well, you are so wrong so much of the time. I don't see how my, uh, you could be so full of shit and still be living. ARS, state code. What it, what's the ARS? I'm getting the paperwork right now. What's the judge's name? The presiding judge. Who's the judge? Judges, ha you know, judges have no authority authority to kick people out if they're if they're work. What the fuck? <laughs> judges have no authority to kick people out. Uh, dumbass Elmo. What are you drinking? Because that stuff has pretty much rotted your brain away till there's nothing left of it but a pile of uh, incomprehensible mush in between your ears. I mean, come on now, dude. That has to be one of the dumbest things you've ever said. And that is, well, quite an accomplishment. Congratulations, dumbass Elmo. You did it. You are the biggest moron to ever exist in humanity. I don't know how you did it, but you managed to do it. Bro, why you gotta be rude about it? We are leaving, but just listen to us for a second. No, I don't need to leave. You're rude. You're rude. Okay. You're rude. Oh, look, there's a cop here. Good. Hi. Hi. Can we speak to you for a second? We're working. Look, hold on. Don't listen to this guy. Listen. You can't record. We're working on a news story. We're working on a news story. We have the right to be here. We're in the common areas. Well, no one's stopping you from doing your uh, news story, dumbass Elmo. They're only asking that you uh, stop recording because that's the only thing that's restricted in that area is the recording devices. I mean, dumbass Elmo, think about it. Think, dumbass, think. I mean... Did they say that you weren't allowed to report a story? No. They said that you couldn't bring those recording devices into the courthouse. So, yeah, we all know you're lying about it. I mean, the video shows us that you are. So shut your dang mouth and get out. All right. And I'll give you the order. I can explain it to you. All right, here before. you go. Do you have, is that that they gave to you? I don't, I don't understand. These guys' attitude is bad, though. They shouldn't talk to the public like that, especially if we're, if we're doing work here. All right. Can I have your name and batch number, please? Yeah, my name is Officer Cohen. Badge number 629. Okay. I understand. Who are you with? Are you with a with news seat? No, no, no. Are you like a news agency? Do you have yeah. Credentials, or are you just independent? We're independent, but yes, we're we're big, bro. So we're I, just. I don't. Well, it's, just it matters. Asking. It matters because you know uh, this is not just any camera. You know we have thousands of people that are watching, yeah. and so, as a police officer, you're supposed to protect our right to video record in a public area. The judge has no authority to come up with any laws. Over the court. You're right about one thing, dumbass Elmo. The judges cannot create laws. That is the legislature that helps create laws. The judges interpret laws and the Constitution. But they can create policies 
within the courthouse. And if you notice what it says on that uh, order right there, it says nothing about being able to report a story. It only says something about recording devices. And you know what? You don't need recording devices to be a journalist, dude. I mean, come on. If you have to have a recording device on you at all times, then you're no true journalist, dude. I mean, a journalist reports the story. They don't create the story. And you can take in a pencil and paper and write notes about what happened. I mean, that's what journalists do all the time, you dipshit. Did they give you the court? Did they give you the judge's order? That's why we have legis legislated le okay. legislation I'm gonna tell you. and through this senators and people who actually make the law. They, huh. He doesn't. He doesn't come up with the law. He has right, to so enforce the it. The presiding judge, though, can can issue guidance for their own building, right? And that's what they've done. So that's why I was just making sure they gave you. Yeah, they can, but they can't just issue any rules so that go against our rights. So what you can do is you can go and file a lawsuit against... Oh, dumbass Elmo, if you need electronic recording devices to be a journalist, well, I'll just put it to you this way. You are no journalist, because a real journalist would uh, know that you could take a pen and paper and uh, write the stuff down and... Uh, fill in the blanks later on because, well, there's still freedom of the press and you can publish the story later on. So, yeah, you are no journalist if you can't figure that out. This ...and you can see if it can get over to Why would you want me to do that? Well, that's how you defend your rights. You no, that, you, that, you that, that, takes, that takes people's, that takes the, citizen, the citizens of Chandler's money, bro. Do you think okay. people want, this do you think I want the, the Chandler? Court and the presiding court has a right to make rules. But do you think I want so the citizens' money? The is, rules, that, is that, no, there's other ways. We, you see, you took an oath to protect this. You should go in there and tell them, no, they have the no, right I to be here. I, I shouldn't have I to take anybody's money. So you're telling an officer, a police officer, to go against the judge's order inside of a courthouse that the judge runs essentially risking the officer's job so is that what you're doing you're trying to enforce your will upon the officer to risk his job to appease a dumbass like yourself uh no that's not how it's gonna go down if you want to change in the proper way why don't you go to the judge himself and try this out on him? No, because it wouldn't work that way because the judge is, uh, well, a lot more educated than you are on this because, well, he wrote the policy in the, a particular way that wouldn't violate your rights, but you're too stupid to figure that out, aren't you? Okay, do you have an idea on you? For what? Do you have an idea on you? For what? Would you like me to write a report about this? You can, but why would you need my ID for it? Well, that's something I do standard in a report. I'd rather not. Okay. So but you, you guys... You want me just as a faceless, nameless person to go in you're supposed to protect them to do something. You're supposed to protect everybody's so who rights. Are you? I'm Enrique. Nice to meet you. Okay. But you have to protect our rights, brother. You, you, you can't just go... Rights. No, you're, you're, so you are you're protecting... There. You're protecting you rules. You can't be there. You just cannot record within the facility. You're that's protecting... rule of the judge. You're not a rule enforcer, you're a law enforcer. And if I'm not breaking the law, so if you feel that no that one can kick me out of there. Made against your rights, you can go and you can contest it at a different court. Judges are freaking putting these rules. Who am I going to go with uh fight this okay, with? So Another judge? Another judge that may not want to be people filming in their public building okay. too? Well, that's, that's we really count on you. Questions. We count on you. Those, that's your hey dumbass, uh you do realize that a police officer doesn't have the power to override a judge's to decision or ruling or anything like that i mean what do you expect a police officer to do just walk into the judge's chambers and pound on the desk and say this rule is unconstitutional no i don't think that would happen because number one the police officer would reali realize that it's not a law it's a rule within the building like he explained it was because well if you don't like it you can always go talk to the judge or another judge about it uh, but still, it's not going to go anywhere because, well, it's not violating your rights, you dumbass. And the judge knows it because it was directed toward electronic recording devices. It didn't say anything that you could not go in there with a pen and paper and interview people and write down what they told you. I mean, you could still do that. There was no restriction on that. But then again, 
you are no journalist, so therefore, you wouldn't have thought of that, now would you? But we count on so you, you as our local here. law enforcer. Here's what I'm going to tell you, okay? You cannot stay here and record against the presiding court's rules. And if I do, you what's going to happen? You're going to arrested for that. You're going to arrest somebody for taking pictures. Is that is that what it is? I'm not going to sit and debate. You signed up. It, it, we are. We are debate. debating it. We are. Do you understand the rules? I absolutely understand my rights and they're being trampled on over here in Chandler and you're supposed to protect them, sir. You're not, you didn't get hired to, okay. to, to enforce this junk. I'm not going to go round and round in circles with you. You have the judges. Order. We shouldn't. You should I just try to explain it to you. You disagree. That's fine. I don't care if you disagree with me. You should care. Okay. Because I'm, I'm, I'm talking about our freedoms. This isn't a personal issue between me and you. It isn't. It's so nothing but ex- business. You're supposed to protect our so rights, period. I'm, and that's what I'm doing. You're, You're not. You're trampling on them. You're telling me I can't, I can't can exercise my very First Amendment. Henrik, we can agree to disagree, okay? So here's what I am telling you. You've been given the, the order by the judge, okay? And now you understand that. So if you continue to enter the building with the intent to record or you record in the building... You can be arrested for it. What do you think about do that? I understand it. I think that So there is, I've explained to you. Those are tyrants. Recourses, yeah. Right? Do you understand your other civil recourses? You can go to court. You can go and challenge the court order. Do you understand those things? Yeah, we do. Okay, so We do, but you as our, as our local police, so, we're counting so on you, man. I'm telling you, you have the right. Why are you here you... for then if you can't just protect our rights? You, you're not there here to okay. just catch criminals. I'm not here to debate with you either. We, you so are. I'm explaining to you is... That's the court order. That's what we're going to enforce, right? Because that's what we do. Now, you can choose at this point to do one of two things. You can choose to go and do a different recourse if what you feel is a violation of your rights. Or you can choose not to, right? And then you can be arrested for violating the court order. So right. It's your choice at this point to do what you want. No one's right. taking your right to do that away. All right, I'm just now you. To, I'm just going to go to jail today, man. I'm just gonna go. To, I'm kidding. I'm not going to jail. No, but you know what? But you're supposed to protect our rights. Reasonable conversation. Right? You're supposed to. You're that's supposed to protect our rights. Okay, but that's there's no reason for me to stand here and say fuck the police or anything like that because I support but the police. We're but you. A reasonable conversation. You, you're you're saying I'm, I'm not gonna make the decision to go to jail over something silly, right? It's not silly. I could go to. I've, it's I've a gone to. Over your it, rights. This is actually very serious, and I've and I've actually made the decision seven but times okay. to go to jail for this. I don't disagree with you that it's a serious issue, but it is also something that you have other reasonable recourses for. So there's no reason that you couldn't go through and exhaust those. What options. about your oath, the one that you took to you, you took? Right. There's, so but, you're not fighting for it. Okay, but you, just because you have a blanket view of the constitutional right. No, it's a very does not simple mean thing. That it's not within the rights of the court. It's the very first their own judge for because it's just like the library. Okay, the library is a public place. It's where people can go and read books, they can go and study, they can use a lot of resources like the internet. Okay, but it also doesn't give you a right to go in there and scream and yell and disrupt them. There's a certain set of rules. Even though we have the right to protest and say and say whatever you want, but yeah. Right, but it, you also can't block the roadway without a permit during a protest. Well, no one's doing that. time and manner restrictions on protests. Okay? Correct, but we, we're it's just talking about a camera. No, we're just I, talking about a camera. Time and manner. I'm not stopping any business. I'm not stopping the road. Okay, I'm not doing anything you're wrong. Arguing over you're you're cop splaining, and and I'm and yeah, I really don't I'm appreciate that. To, I, and that's where I am just gonna cut it off right there because once he said that the officer was cop splaining. That just basically ends the conversation right there because they'll feel that the officer is in the wrong the whole damn time. And, uh, well, he doesn't get back into the building anyway from this point on. But, dumbass Elmo, I know you'll probably never see this video ever, but let me explain something to you. This restriction has not been put on to Chandler as a whole. Just this courthouse. The reason being is that it is a courthouse. It is a non-public forum that the reason being on that is because there are confidential uh conversations that go on in that courthouse all the damn time man do you want any of that to get out and compromise uh any trials or anything like that uh, uh, no, no regular person would want to do that, except for you, because, well, you are a total anarchist dumbass, and that's where I'm going to end this little cop explaining right here. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?